Good day, how are you? I'd like to talk to you about what the Bible explains with four P's, or what the four P's are. One is, the first one is procrastination. That's one that kind of grips all of us from time to time. Joshua, in Joshua 18, 3, said, Then Joshua asked them, How long are you going to wait before clearing out the people living in the land which the Lord your God has given you? You know, we often delay doing uh, things or jobs that seem too large or difficult, boring or uh, maybe even disagreeable to some of us. But it all stems to uh, a lack of discipline or poor stewardship of our time, oftentimes. It, uh, and it basically is uh, a fact of accountability. We need to see time as God's gift and seize the opportunities diligently that are giving to us. Uh, laziness, the Bible talks a lot in Proverbs about that, which is procrastination, basically. And in Proverbs 26, 13 and to 16, I'll just read part of it. It says, the lazy man won't go out and work. There might be a lion outside, he says, and he sticks to his bed like a door to his hinges. Have you ever had a day like that? I'm sure you have. I have, in fact. But instead of looking at the first P, we need to look more towards the second one, which is productivity. Productivity has uh, growth and results in our life. Just as a fruit tree is expected to bear fruit, God's people should produce a crop of good deeds. How productive are you in your life? And it also leads to the third P, which is progress. Progress means improvement when you're going from one point to another and you can look back and and see that you are progressing uh, in a way that's right uh, lot and his wife when sodom was was burning it says in genesis 1926 but lot's wife looked back as she was following along behind him and became a pillar of salt well her progress definitely stopped at that point, don't you think? Uh, clinging to the past, she was unwilling to turn completely away from what was going on. And sometimes we lose the momentum that we have in our life simply because the past is more important than the present or the future. Spiritual progress is a process recording your thoughts and God's lessons in our lives that we've learned uh, aid to spiritual growth. We need to have a checklist of our progress to avoid operating in the past or past mistakes. And the fourth P that I'd like to share with you uh, this morning is simply this, purpose. That means goals and objectives and having a plan. We find purpose in our lives when we are, have obedience to God. We find purpose in our lives when we trust God. And we find purpose in becoming more like Jesus Christ himself. Our calling from God as Christians is to become more Christ-like, according to Romans 8.29. This is a gradual and a lifelong process that will be completed when we see Christ face to face, according to what we've been studying in 1 John chapter 3, verse 2. To be worthy of this calling means you want to do what is right and what is good. We aren't perfect yet, but we're moving in that direction as God works in us and through us to have progress and purpose in our life. God bless you. Have a great day.